This morning, for the first time in humanity's long and storied history, the sun did not rise. Osiris tells me it's a Vex simulation that has plunged the city into an endless night. It seems they have found a way to harness our energy against us. And even in all his wisdom, Osiris can offer no solution. I don't know what will happen if we can't break the Vex's hold over the city. I do know that we must protect our people, no matter the cost. The Vex are machines, and no one understands machines better than the Elixir. Osiris and I can only think of one we might turn to. Mithrax, Kel of House Light. My spies report he claims to be among the last sacred splicers, those with the power to commune with machines. He may be our best and only hope. Find him, Guardian, before the Vex do. You're closing in on some residual signals. It could be Elixney bound for House Light. Or it could be more of Aramis's loyalists. Clear the Vex and introduce yourself to the survivors. Make it known you're not a threat, unless you need to be. Empty. The Elixni cleared out before the Vex showed up. See if you can learn where they're headed. Over their positions. Trigger, message repeat. This is Misrax. To those who renounce the violence of House Salvation and seek refuge in the House of Light. I will be landing a skiff near Asterian Abyss. Bring only what you need. We must prioritize survivors over their positions. Trigger, message repeat. Asterian Abyss, that's their rendezvous point. A single skiff recently touched down near your position. It's got to be Mithrax. Hurry, Guardian, before he takes off. Mithrax is wrapped up in some dangerous business. It's a bad time to ask for a favor. But he and his House of Light still worship the Traveler. That heat signature. Flames. Someone brought down the skiff. Quick now. Secure the crash site and assist the survivors. If there are any. Mithrax must have let a few survivors out, but they're completely exposed. Eyes up. Move. You're close, and I'm picking up unusual energy spikes ahead. Be ready for anything. I find you in the light. 
your signal. I call the rain. Mithrax Kel, it is an honor. We've been searching for you for some time. This is known. You are not the only one with hidden eyes. Many enemies pursue my house of light. We did not wish to be found. Then times are desperate for us both. The Vanguard seeks your assistance. I am aware. Rex systems pulse with talk of the city's endless night. But my people demand much protection. If this Guardian could assist me in blinding the Vex here, we can speak without risking more bloodshed. Blinding the Vex. My Guardian will do whatever you need. I have opened the door for you, Guardian. We walk the path of the Sacred Splicer. Did you send them into a Vex simulation? The path before them is no illusion. The Guardian ventures through the Vex domain itself, where the machines guard their most precious secrets. I will clear the way. You move free through space. None but our most skilled splicers can even perceive. The light shines strong within you. 
Black signals are dissipating from your region. They're leaving. Yes. With the core you hold, the secrets of the Vex reveal themselves to us. To study such an artifact would benefit us both. But there is no time. My people must move on if we hope to survive. Mithrax, I saw those who wished to join you dead in the snow. Let them be the last to fall. Come, shelter in our city. You and your people. I call a kill. Can you offer the Elixni such a thing? I just did. You'll be under the Vanguard's protection. The Vex are the enemy here. And any Lightbearer who disagrees can take it up with me. Then we accept. With light in our hearts. We will join you in your city. Beneath the Traveler. My people shelter beneath the great machine. This is beyond simple generosity. I must thank Ikora for her gift. This sanctuary is not granted by Ikora alone, but by all who live in the last city. Yes, and on their behalf, let me extend a welcome. I am Osiris, and this is Lakshmi too future war court leader and city representative. My greatest appreciations to you both. The House of Light thanks you. Your house can best show gratitude by keeping to itself. I know your assistance with the Vex will benefit us all, but not everyone in the city is so open-minded. You appear to be settling in. I will leave you to it. If you require further help from us, you must only ask. Uh, I shall. Uh, there are several modifications we will need for stable ether production. Submit a proposal to Ikora. She seems willing to get you anything you need. I must return to the people in the city. Future War Court has foreseen great misery for them in the days ahead, and they will need an advocate. I often forget how highly those in the tower have placed themselves. The air is thin there. Best not to breathe too much of it. You must understand this situation is tense for us all. This encampment perches on the edge of decree and democracy. I hope your stay with us will be Uneventful. As do I. No matter how enlightened a culture, 
There are always those who prey on our worst impulses for their own gain. Many Elixni spend their whole lives on ships. They become more than a home. They're like a member of the family. Mizrax found me in the vent of a wrecked ship, you know. We joke that my father is a splicer and my mother is a catch. <laughs> After the fall of our homeworld, Reese, Elixni scattered across the stars. Having lost our grounding, catches evolved from modes of transportation into permanent homes. Even after Elixni began to resettle in places like the Reef, we never lost our reverence for the machines that kept us alive. Now, after so much wandering, it's hard to believe that there's real ground beneath us and a real sky above. Elixni houses are more than tribes for sharing work and resources. They also represent living philosophies. In many ways, the House of Light is traditional. We worship the Great Machine and we embrace ancestral roles like splicers and scribes. But in other ways we're different. My father Mizrax is Kel of our house, but he does not act as past Kel's. He does not take more than his share of ether, and he does not punish by docking limbs. These are radical, but popular ideas in our house. However, Mizrax Kel also believes in peace and cooperation with humanity. This is less popular. Everyone in our house has seen Elixni killed by guardians. Not just warriors, but innocents and hatchlings. I lived for many years among the Awoken, and understand that humans do good things as well, sometimes. But the others in the House of Light have not been so lucky in their allies as I have. It will take time to earn their trust. Some Elixni tell hatchlings that these wards keep guardians from attacking us in our sleep. We know this is not true, of course, but it helps hatchlings to rest peacefully. Soon enough, they must learn that the Guardians cannot be stopped by such things. That they cannot be stopped at all, even by death. After that, the war changes meanings. For grown Elixni, it's a reminder that the Great Machine blesses life givers and killers alike. But now that we have seen the Guardians among their own people, taking orders and making awkward small talk, I don't think this tradition will continue in the House of Light. We no longer see Guardians as monsters, just people, frightened and misguided. Hello, my name is Ido. My father is Mizrax, Kel of our house. I took my name from his first awoken friend, Sierra Ido. As scribe for the House of Light, it's my job to preserve our house's history, so that hatchlings may one day learn our stories. Mizrax Kel requested that I leave some records for the humans of the last city, so they might learn about Elixni culture in their own time. As he says, Inside a catch, everyone breathes the same air. Though I have doubts that the humans will care to hear our stories, the snipers who look down on us do not seem like the curious types. But the great machine has chosen them, so I must give them the benefit of my faith. Hopefully this effort does not go wasted.
humans think of ether as food for Elixni, a form of sustenance. That's only partially true. Ether also catalyzes physical maturation and promotes molting. In that sense, it's like hormones in human adolescence. In a world of unlimited ether, like Rees before the whirlwind, all Elixni look like captains. That's our final form. Most Elixni you see now are underdeveloped. They're forever stunted by ether rationing, which began as a necessity and gradually evolved into a mechanism of social control. Now, Ruthless leaders like Spider use the distribution of ether to keep their followers dependent. If Elixni are ever to live in peace, we must make ether available to all, regardless of rank. Guardian, I 
reach you in the light. It is I, Mithrax, or Mithrax, as your people say. I speak to you through a servitor we liberated from the House of Salvation. It fuels our camp now, turning raw matter into the ether we need to survive. I will use it to study the Paradrome Cube you recovered from the Vex. In this way, it will provide for us both. We are settling into your city. You may have seen the work of the House of Light scribe Ido, my daughter. She has been creating a chronicle of our journey. But there will be time for that later. This city holds great scholars and warriors. Ikora, Osiris, Lakshmi too, even a saint. They have agreed to aid in your fight against the machines. And I will be your guide. I am a sacred splicer. One who can touch the light rippling through the Vex networks. For the light is all. The wind through the grass, and the motion of galaxies. In this way, I can see into the Vex domain. But you... Your abilities might grow beyond mine. I have prepared something for you. A splicer gauntlet. The first made for a non-elixni. The ether it pulls from defeated foes will let you override the Vex signals. Push back and enter the machine domain as you did on Europa. Bring me data from within and together we will discover its secrets. Fight bravely. Free your people from this endless night. Can't say I'm enjoying lying low, Commander. Reminds me of the old days. But, hey, I'm nothing if not good at following orders. If it was my choice, I'd be there helping you get the Elixni settled in the city. Might be hard to believe, but they're more like us than you think. Just... Give them a chance. Like you did for me. They'll ask. That's how they say hello. Just so you know. It has been some time since you and I have worked together. That's going to change. As internal affairs falls under my purview, you'll be reporting to me for this operation. Mithrax has kept his promise. His splicers work tirelessly to decode the data you pulled from the Vex network. Zavala and I have every confidence that this was the right decision. Years of hidden operations coming to fruition in our time of need. The Elixni would say, the great machine provides. But if Osiris hadn't suggested we contact Mithrax directly, all our outreach could have been wasted. Guardian, we are all made to believe that loss is how we grow. It took me decades to see that it is not the pain we learn from, but the risk, the chances we take, and the strength to see them through. Here in the city, every new life can begin in peace, without fear, without loss, we need only set aside the past. While you're in the field, I've asked Saint-14 to oversee the Elixni settlement. If we can turn the Kellbreaker into an advocate for House Light, then others will follow. I hope he's feeling generous. Where the darkness seeks to divide us, we need only offer out a hand. When I requisitioned this transmitter, I was told the helm would be a secured location. I suppose this will have to do. Greetings, Guardian. I'm Lakshmi II of the future war cult. And I'm here to offer my assistance. Because you need it quite badly. 
The future war court has long used VEX-derived technology to see into the future. I won't bore you with an explanation of mind forking. Suffice to say, we understand its dangers and use the device responsibly. I have glimpsed our future, Guardian. And what I saw was chilling. Skies dark with smoke, shouting, gunfire, and in the center of it all, standing in our city, a group of fallen, the same fallen I saw earlier. Ikora listened to my report, but she chose not to hear it. The vanguard would rather protect its image than its people. And so, I will handle things myself. We can change this future. Stop it from happening. While I monitor your progress against the Vex and assist where I am able, I will observe these fallen. If they begin to act against us, well, when I foresaw the Red War, they laughed until Gaul bound the traveler. This time, I will not whisper my warnings. I will not be polite. I look forward to working with you, Guardian. Together, we can protect our city from all who would wish it harm. with the Vex from here, and your victories. This area is a crossroads. Many threads connect this city to the Vex. They seek to use their simulation to drain the light from this place, bend it to their will, just as you seek to disrupt their network. But while you fight for survival, their motives are... Unclear. The network connection cannot be broken without destroying your city. Both are bound now. And one must fall for the other to survive. But there is hope. Every Vex you destroy sends ripples across this false dark sky. I do not know how many must fall to end the simulation they have created, but the data they guard hides the answer. We will study it together. This is my word in the light. The last city has always been a place of refuge. For centuries, the vulnerable have found shelter and security under the watchful eye of the traveler. Now, it seems that includes Fallen. Once they siege our walls, and now Ikora Ray throws open the gates. A charitable act from a compassionate leader. But is it the right thing to do? Can we really spare the energy and resources to shelter our enemies while we are under Vex attack? Can we afford to extend a peaceful hand to those who might bite it? As leader of the future war cult, I have foreseen violence and strife within our walls. This is not the first time. I warned you all of Gaul before the Red Legion took our city during the Red War. I am warning you again now. Are these newcomers the cause of our visions? That we do not yet know. What we do know is that the Vanguard owes the people an honest and transparent explanation. Consider subscribing.